I'm out here looking real fancy, waiting on my dad to pick me up because he's, uh, well, his reading center at SIUE is up for um, an award, a financial award. And, you know, of course, um, as a part of an educational institution, it always, you know, could use some more financial support. And, uh, you know, my family is just bursting at the seams with pride. Uh, over my dad having uh, basically a library named in his honor at his alma mater, uh, Southern Illinois University of Edwardsville. So we're going to go to this banquet. I'm feeling good. I'm hoping they didn't, you know, I'm hoping they didn't do a Beyonce and invite him there so that they could give Taylor Swift the award. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm feeling positive about it. And um, so hopefully he'll be here soon. All right, the man of the hour has arrived. Eugene B. Redman, the first. Hey, baby. <laughs> How you doing? Let me get on in the car. Can you tell us yeah. about this award and about this event? Oh, yeah. This is the ARCUS, A-R-C-U-S Award. Uh-huh. Um, given by... Uh, the St. Louis Corporate World. Um, sponsors include everybody from AT&T to Anheuser-Busch to Centene. Oh, fantastic. Um, and what will and be- And you what go will... on and name it. Ooh. And the award is given annually to uh, the St. Louis Regional Area Leadership. Mm -hmm. Uh, with an emphasis on diversity, diversity and inclusion. Oh, wow. And, um, um, you know, it's black excellence. I mean, what can you say when somebody names a building after you? <laughs> well, That's the and, ultimate card right there, Daddy. Yeah. You should, you should introduce yourself to the ladies with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you to my building. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm, you know, I'm hot stuff. Look at my date this evening. Uh, you do go my, on. Look at my date at 78. <laughs> Great, you guys, check in. You guys come in for dinner. We're coming in for the uh, event. You know. um, I get towards. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're, we're at Valet Park. All right. Okay. Is this where we check in over here? Yeah. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Good evening. Yes, sir. I'm documenting my dad's awesomeness. Play by play. <laughs> How do we... Um... Your name back to me. Yeah. Here. My last name. Yes, sir. It looks like we're down here, Daddy. There, okay, I see us down here. Look. I got it. with our wonderful compadres. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Excited well, that my dad is going to win, win, win. You know, we debuted the Arcus Awards program in 2013 to create a more inspiring way to celebrate achievements and to honor leaders in our region. Tonight, we celebrate with a record-breaking sellout crowd of over 800 guests. Thank you. As my partner Jim Castellano mentioned, we are proud to present a new Arcus Award this year, one that recognizes a finalist from any of the categories, but which is a special because it is chosen by the people. We gave everyone in St. Louis the opportunity to have, to have a say who inspires them and honor that leadership with an Arcus Award. And the winner is Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville, Eugene B. Redmond Morning.
people's choice. He's the people's champ. <laughs> So my dad was chosen by his community, his peers, wow. um, as usual, much There's beloved. 42,000 votes. 42,000 votes and all came in and <laughs> the majority of them were for the kids. <laughs> East St. Louis is finest. Yeah, yeah. East St. Louis. East St. Louis. East St. Louis. I am headed to um, a black owned chiropractor and he's having a little dinner as kind of a, a way to, to do some networking here in the Metro East. So I'm really excited. He has helped my back immensely. And the name of it is Proficient Chiropractic. Show you this door right here. Let me go in and... Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm doing fine. I'm documenting uh, black businesses today that I'm supporting. How are y'all? How you doing today? I'm doing quite well, doctor. Would you introduce yourself to the camera, to the people, please? Yes, I'm Dr. Derek Hamilton, a proficient chiropractic. Okay, fantastic. And tonight is my dinner with the doctor event that we do try to do once a month or at least once every other month. Okay. And we try to invite as many people as possible to come out and learn about chiropractic and that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Oh. This has been an awesome night. We're getting ready to eat some food and um, wrap up our wonderful dinner with the doc. Um, it's looking good. I am almost ready to leave with my dad and Rama. Uh, let me turn this camera around. I am almost ready to leave with my dad and go see some awesome dancers that I'll be telling you more about, but I gotta freshen up my naps. I'm happy to be nappy, but I have to freshen them up, so let me work on that. So um, I've you know pulled my naps together somewhat. I'm very low maintenance. <laughs> with this nappy hair. I've been doing this for a long time. So um, all you uh, eight product naturals and everything, more power to you, but I have to work for a living. I don't have a Sunday to devote to my hair. Um, so let me roll out before my dad leaves me with my kids. And so she has choreographed a piece um, using poetry by Maya Angelou. And she wanted me to be there for the the multiple con connections that we have. You know, Dunham, where she has come as a resident dancer and, you know, also trained with Dunham. And two, um, she's choreographed a Maya Angelou piece. And uh, Maya Angelou and I were very close for 45 years. Okay, don't get hit by that car that's coming, though. That would be bad. <laughs> completed the wonderful uh, viewing of the dance performance and um, the choreographer Diane McIntyre um, one of a few to introduce avant-garde concert dance expressions into black social consciousness themes in the 1970s um, so 
Fantastic, fantastic work choreographed to Maya Angelou's poetry. And uh, it was fantastic, it really, really was. And now my kids are outside getting a little fresh air. It's really pretty around here, around this Two Hill Performing Arts Center that's on the University of Missouri at St. Louis campus. And uh, yeah, it's really gorgeous. We're walking up to the Little Dipper here on Cherokee Street. We got to collect, collect uh, one of the baddest poets that we know. What? I was, I'm talking to the camera. I'm one of those people who go on YouTube like filming their life. You wonder who those people are? Yeah. I'm hey, one that, of them. <laughs> oh, I think yes. That. Yeah, that's what happened. Yes, Hello. hi. Tanya, what's your whole name? Tanya Brown. Tanya Brown. Yes. You're the chef here. This is the little dipper on Cherokee that Street. Cute. Oh. <laughs> Look at that little picture. Yes, that's my little nine year old. She put her picture on the camera. It was fantastic to meet you both. It was very nice to meet you. We're collecting uh Sue here. Oh yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Thank you. So here, do you mind being on camera? You know I can edit all that out. Okay. <laughs> You're the one that got me dancing. You're the one that got me dancing. Right. Uh, are you familiar with Sean? Okay, we're gonna go because she's gonna hold on to that. Yes, yes, you got it. Oh, yeah. They're in. Uh, you got your bag. Give me a trip. Okay. We are headed to um, a wonderful event over in St. Louis, celebrating the arrival of the of the poet laureate of Cuba. Um, her last name is Marhan. What is her first name? Nancy. Nancy, Nancy Marhan. 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 Yeah. Marhan. Yeah. Marhan. Yeah. Marhan. Yeah. Marhan. And this is the president of the Eugene B. Redmond Writers Club for nigh on 30 years. 30 years. That's right. This is Darlene Roy, who is also my sorority sister. For those, for those of you who didn't know, I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I'm sure you can I'm see sure. my pearls. Sure. Do it! <laughs> so we're we're headed. Uh, three lovers of the arts, three artists, three poets, and um, I'll let you see what's happening once we get there. We are arriving for Nancy Marahan's debut. Hi, how are you doing? This is the Poet Laureate of St. Louis. The Poet Laureate, Michael Castro. How are you doing? This is the wonderful Poet Laureate of Cuba, Nancy Marahan. Yes. An honor to meet you. Querencias. No el cielo, sino su sombra tumbada sobre el agua. No el mar, sino su sombra hundida en las profundidades. No las arenas, sino su sombra amiga. No el monte amigo, sino su sombra dentro de la noche. No el fuego, sino la sombra de su lengua metálica. No el viento, sino el húmedo arco de las islas. No el fantasma de las casas abandonadas, sino la sombra. Oh man, it's another art-packed weekend finish. Um, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. And um, I think I'm gonna have to name this one. She get it from her daddy. <laughs> the chiropractic doctor dinner with the doc uh, everything was about my dad and you know he's an example of how to live an art-centered life um, and to be an art-centered 